all the women in there died except for the owner. It's not Mark anymore. I don't know who he is. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 found footage horror film, A Town Full of Ghosts, a film that is written and directed by Isaac Rodriguez, and it stars Andrew Fisher and Mandy Lee Rubio, and it is due out in June, so very, very shortly. Now, this, as I mentioned, is a found footage film. It focuses on a married couple, Mark and Jenna, who Mark essentially has got this dream, and he, he 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 buys a ghost town basically called Blackwood Falls. So it's like an abandoned ghost town. Um, looks like somewhat like from the old west sort of thing. Some of the buildings are genuine. Some of them have been kind of um, built uh, and faked sort of thing. Uh, he's got some investors interested, and he's kind of going to turn it into like a tourist attraction. It's three hours away from civilization. There's no cell service. There's nothing like that. There's no police or anything with any 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 distance at all. Uh, so he goes there with his wife. He brings out his cousin and her girlfriend, and he also hires like a caretaker. Um, and there they turn up to live on site to essentially film and document everything that they're doing because he's, he's running like a YouTube channel as well, I think, uh, so that he can document it from beginning to end. Um, so it's, he's got his dream so that the public can turn up, stay there and just enjoy this whole experience. However, this town comes with a very, very dark history um, and things start getting a little bit freaky as each night progresses. Of course it does. Is a found footage film. Right, so what are my thoughts on A Town Full of Ghosts? Well, guys, I've, I say this all, a lot every time I review a found footage film. You know I like a good found footage film. I like watching found footage films. I do think they can be incredibly effective. The question is, do I think A Town Full of Ghosts is fairly effective? Well, it follows the found footage formula almost to the letter, really. You know, he's got an excuse for filming for aspects of this film anyway because he's doing like um like he's, he's running a channel so he's filming it all documenting it all and he hands a, the camera over to his cousin who then takes over the filming all this kind of stuff he does all the editing everything like that even though we get the usual spiel at the beginning saying that this this footage was found following blah 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 the usual found footage spiel so in one sense it ticks a lot of found footage boxes in the other sense, it it feels very 15 years ago almost, or 10 years ago. It feels very, very old-fashioned. It doesn't try and do anything new with the genre at all. Um, to me, found footage doesn't necessarily have to, but the real, the real pull and the draw of found footage is it's supposed to make you as an audience member feel like what you what you're watching could have actually happened that it's real footage even though we know it isn't obviously uh, and i never really bought it if i'm honest which is a bit of a shame it, it, it didn't feel necessarily genuine to me uh, it's not a particularly long film it's just over an hour i think it's like an hour and five minutes long something like that i did think the location they were at was fabulous i mean it was very atmospheric it was it was perfect i think a really really good choice for a location uh it looked creepy it looked spooky at night you know filming around all these abandoned like old west town is like there was like this maze that's been built in it uh that supposedly the discovery has been built on like a large burial ground all this kind of stuff so it's got it's got a lot going for it this um Apart from a couple of moments in the film where I did genuinely get scared or certainly jumped, uh, so I did think it was effective. I never felt like, for me, an effective found footage film is, yeah, you get the setup, you get the build-up, you get the introduction to your characters, you get the, the quiet moments, and then the slow build of these creepy things escalating. So you get that at the beginning, like the first two or three nights, you know, they hear noises, just goes and investigates, so on and so forth, and that, that you kind of think, okay, it's doing what I want it to do, it's doing what I expect it to do, and then it kind of 
it feels like it missed something for me. Um, this next stage, and I, it's hard to describe what I think it missed, but it kind of went from this slow escalation to boom, everything happening. Um, you know, and her and the wife certainly questioning, saying, "Oh, our, our lives are in danger, and we need to get the satellite phone to call nine one one." And at that point, she didn't know anything had happened other than her husband was acting a bit weird. So it it, it started it started kind of rushing it. So I, it's not often I say this. Certainly about a found footage film, I think this film could have done with an extra fifteen minutes or so. It was actually a little bit short. I think they needed to give it, to flesh it out a little bit more put a couple more effective scares in there because again found, effective found footage should be okay all everything i've said that nice slow build up to the real scares that you get at the end um and even though it kind of does that the scares that we get at the end just didn't deliver for me and they didn't feel earned and they didn't even make an awful lot of sense either um and it for me also drops the ball on the um Found footage films, you know, they always get poked fun at, you know, why would you carry on filming? Well, there are aspects of this film where you're just kind of like, well, why would you be filming this? Who would be filming it? Why are you filming it? It doesn't make any sense because a rational person would have been running for their life and you wouldn't be filming it. Even the unrational person, um, which was an aspect of this film, who is filming, you wouldn't be filming either. You, you've got other things on your mind rather than filming. So it... it it's a decent attempt at a found footage film. I think if they'd have made a few tweaks in two or three areas, um, I think it could have uh, elevated it a little bit. As it is, it's not a bad found footage. It's not a shockingly bad found footage film. It's certainly watchable if you're, found, if you're a fan of this genre, certainly. It just, for me, failed to deliver. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I think I may be being a little bit generous there, but I didn't massively dislike it. And I certainly watched and enjoyed it to a certain degree. But unfortunately, it just didn't deliver. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like the video. And of course, I'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.